Hey. Uh, hello. <laughs> uh, that's way more people watching than I expected. Um, for such a relatively small thing. Uh, right. Hey, everybody. Uh, we have some degree of a schedule here, but not not entirely. I don't know. This is a little not very formal. Um, yeah, welcome to the Winter Collab Task Showcase. Um, everybody on comms, if you'd like to introduce yourselves. Hi, I'm Taran. Uh, I broke like three maps in this collab and didn't touch any others. Um, hello, I'm Wakey. Uh, I, I'm very new, I don't know why I'm here. <laughs> All good. Hi, I'm Viv. I was one of the people who worked on Winter Collab, and I helped a little bit with the tasks here and there. Yeah. Um, so the Winter Collab, if you guys don't know, it kind of went, a, I think it went a little bit under the radar for a lot of people. I'm not entirely sure. Um, but assuming you don't know what it is, it's a collab project that was um, started, I don't know when it was started, but it was released um, mid-March this year. So we've been working on the task that long. Um, it was hosted by Careless Anonymous and Dunker19. Um, I think it's 22 maps and then a prologue in the lobby and a gym. Um, but that's not the gym's not going to be part of the task. Um, the, the maps are like green experts according to SC2020 standards or above. Um, they're pretty difficult. I, I did like two maps and that's all I could do. I don't know what everyone else did. Um, I can explain the difficulties a little bit, okay. but I don't think that really matters in the case of the task. Um, okay. Basically, the way that we decided to end up doing it was we tried to make the difficulties sort of scale similar to expert. So whenever you see a blue map in Winter Collab, it means that it's kind of easier than a green map, but it still has some expert tech in it. And when you see something harder than a red map, a frozen map, then it's going to be closer to a grandmaster, but focusing a lot more on expert tech. And that's how we sort of organized it. Okay, cool. I didn't know any of that. Um, it doesn't really matter for the task, but it's good to know if you're interested in playing the collab uh, afterwards. Um, which, I don't know, it's pretty good. Go do it. Um, so the task team uh, is a whole bunch of people. I guess I can pop up the credits real quick. Um, a lot of people did a lot of stuff, um, which was kind of more than we expected, or I expected. Um, so going down to the list here, um, I guess you guys in comms can't see it, but I have it up on the stream. Um, I guess you can look at progress. But um, we have Fire Thief 1, uh, Game Profi, um, Ellen Jacks, who did um, some lobby optimization, um, me, Katizer, I, did, uh, I was basically the project manager, and I did... Um, a bunch of first drafts and optimization and stuff in the showcase. Uh, Master Rock 9, Mutagen, who did like a draft, I think. Uh, Sasha Bell, who did like a room. Uh, Stotch, Teo, um, Robo, who probably put in the most work out of everybody. I, I don't know if that's entirely true, but he put in a lot of work, and this is more or less his task. Um, Tolua, um, who did. Like, he did the lobby, he did most of the lobby, and also, like, routed it. Um, and I think that's it. Topaz, who did, um, yeah, a couple drafts, a I think. Yeah, drafts and some optimization. Uh, Tyron, well, you can just tell you what you did. Yeah. Oh, oh, it's my yeah, turn yeah. to talk. I All guess. right, <laughs> so, um, I worked a lot on a few levels, um, just because I'm a specialist, and there were certain maps that really fit my uh, strengths well. Okay, he's, yeah, Robo says, I did two full maps and completely remade three plus maps. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, by, by when we say maps, we mean not the actual maps, we mean the tests of them, if that wasn't clear. Uh, right. We have Vamp, uh, who did, like, one draft, and I think that's it. Um, and Wakey, well, you're here, you want to say what you did? Uh, I did... I think three. I did two and a half first drafts, and then just optimization. Yeah, Wakey's been really. Uh, it's been really cool watching him uh, improve in real time. Yeah, because this is sort of. This was one of his first like 
task projects. Um, yo, you know, you've been testing, what, was it like two weeks before you joined this yeah, project? Yeah, like two weeks. <laughs> yeah, like, not very much. I had played some RTA, but, so, uh, yeah. Yeah. It was two weeks, pretty much. Anyways. And um, it's also worth mentioning that, um, a lot of people, not just Wiki, got, pretty much got their starts testing on this project. Oh, yeah, um, definitely. Uh, I'd say Topaz is another example of someone who mm -hmm. started, uh, I think uh, also Fire Thief was in a similar position. Oh yeah, Fire, Fire Thief. Thief, Game Prop Thief. Yeah, a lot of people. Uh, yeah. So that's always good to see. Um, yeah. What Anyways, else do we have? Uh, um, you want to say something? Oh, I was just going to say, is there anything else we want to do before we hop in? Uh, I have one thing. Um, so after the test, it, this, is a, this is just going to be a video played back. Um, after the test, if there's anything you, that being the audience or anyone on comms, um, if there's anything y'all want to look at in more detail, uh, I am absolutely okay with opening the game afterwards um, and going through and with a fine tooth comb. Um, so just keep that in mind. Uh, we're probably going to look at Distorted again. Uh, you'll, you'll find oh, yeah. out why. <laughs> um, that, that was one of my maps that I worked a lot on. Yeah. Uh, so did I. Alright, is, um, does anybody have anything else? Anyone in chat or comments? Any other questions before we start? Uh, well. I don't know how big stream latency is. Someone just says run it, so. Uh, yeah, I think we should just go. <laughs> Alright, uh, uh do so, countdown. okay, so does everybody, yeah, I'll do count. Does everybody have the video up ready to go? Just like the finger yeah. on the play button? Yep. Uh, uh, fingers now, fingers now on the button. Um, All right. My progress bar is screwed up. Okay. Um, three, two, one, go. Um. Okay. All right. Uh, so, this was the first map that was tasked. I think I finished this first draft in like an hour. Uh, and it's. Yeah, it's pretty fast. It's yeah, just so a lot of delay. now we're yeah, into lobby. Lot of it, lobby is really fast. Lobby is interestingly visually dense. Um, yeah. Funny tile set collab, basically. Yeah. This um, was yep. one of the maps Robo did. Uh, it's it's one of the maps that's barely been touched since the first draft. Oh, yeah. I think there's been like two improvements total. That's kind Maybe of the theme that. with all the maps that Robo drafted. Um, <laughs> it's just yeah. that. Uh, nobody's touched them. Hey, you saved a few frames in Ford Facility. Yeah, that is that is my <laughs> biggest accomplishment, okay? I, yeah. I saved one frame in this one as well. Um, worth noting, the, the custom mechanic here is these time orbs. Um, I don't know if they're time crystals. I call them time orbs because it sounds better. Um, but they're called you time have crystals, the, yeah. Time crystals. Um, we just missed one right there, but um, when you hit them, they slow down and stop time for a few seconds. Um, that's the custom mechanic here. Um, the next map is Cheese Farewell, which is the most interesting tile set. Uh, good luck figuring out what's background <laughs> and what's foreground. Um, for the record, <laughs> in a future yeah. update, we have fixed a lot of the tile set issues. We just haven't released it yet because there's a lot of things that we need to fix. Yeah. To, yeah. Just gonna point that out, I know there's... Everybody loves the tile set and she's farewell. <laughs> so much yellow. Hey, I've having tasked this map and watched this a whole bunch, I've gotten and I've gotten a new appreciation for it. At least it's not Frigid Storm. Yeah, well uh, like that I, has a different issue. Frigid, also, it's just uh, really hard to see in that map. Okay. Um, simplified graphics makes she's farewell a lot easier to look at. Oh uh, yeah, definitely. Yeah. yeah. So this room is uh cycle locked pretty much. Um but we do hit right. all the cycles. Um, so these last two these rooms, points, yeah. yeah, these okay. last two rooms um, are like half the tasks or something like that. Uh, this one, unfortunately, I couldn't find a way to skip um, having to get all these coins and uh, or switches or whatever you call them. Um, so of those sw uh, switch blocks right there. There's just no way to slip past them. However, yeah. in the next room, uh, it gets very interesting very quickly. So there are like three skips in one that combine to be one big skip. So one, two, and like three. 
Yeah. It's, I'm really sad that improved about a lot. that particular... I'm really sad about that particular room, because there's actually another way you can skip that room uh, by just entering it from the wrong place, but it takes too long to go down to that other entrance, and mm -hmm. it's not worth it. So the way the um, Winter Collab works is every two maps, there are um, fusion sides, which are maps that combine, what was it phrased, like the gameplay and oftentimes the visuals of the two previous maps. So this is a combination of Candy Cliffs and Sheets Farewell, um, both yeah. gameplay and visually. Um, I gotta say, these were a really cool idea. They were really I'm cool, glad yeah. They yeah. I, I will say, of... personally, they were very hard to make work in all cases, but they were pr but they were a lot of fun by the end. Like, it was hard to get the organization to work between, like, especially some of the time between some mappers, but overall, I thought it was a great idea. Right. I really it's enjoyed it. It's just a really on cool them. idea to mix two completely different styles together and different mechanics. And it just creates a whole new dynamic. Uh, oh, so we're on Sky this, Sky this is Garden in the Sky. Uh, so we saved yeah. 13 seconds on this map within the past 24 hours. <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, so uh, it's so cool this. This, yeah. this is the first of several skips I found yesterday. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So, so you can enter like that room from the wrong place, basically. The next three rooms are pretty much a break, uh, and then it goes very fast, very quickly. Yeah. Yeah, this test was originally, uh, I don't remember who drafted it, but nobody worked on this, or very few people worked on it this for a long game time. Profi. Yeah, game profi. And then, uh, in 24 hours, like, four, three or four people yeah. showed up and were like, hey, what yeah. is fast? Because <laughs> we, cause we all sort of just collectively realized, hey, wait a minute, there's a bunch of skips that we could potentially do. And then, yeah. Like so. This was the second, or the first one of those two skips. The other one I already showed off. Um, so that's just a bunch of screen transition abuse. Uh, Shoutouts to Fire Thief for that one. Uh, but a lot of this map is just due to the fact that uh, the screen transitions are really large. You can oftentimes enter the screens from underneath where the platforms are, um, which means that it's oftentimes a lot faster to just enter the next room and then death warp up um, than to actually do the room. There's some really unoptimal dashless movement that didn't make it into the no, final this, video. No, this here. video, this video has it. This was the re-record. Rumor? It does. Oh. Yeah. Oh, sick. As assuming nice. you got the re-record, <laughs> did you download I, this new one? Did. Okay. Okay. Imagine. If uh, I just so ate this is behind. this is frigid storm. Um, uh, this is a draft that I did. Okay, so we skip backtracking there with uh. A skip that I tried to do for a long time and couldn't get, and then Robo was like, Hey, spinner corner boost. Oh, so yeah, spinner corner boost are there. And that's not a corner boost, that's a hyper on them. Um, but there are a lot of... If you like doing things on spinners, you shouldn't be able to. This test has a lot of that. It's also very visually dense. This is a skip right here. Uh, skip hitting that switch on the first time through, and then jump off the block uh, in order to hit it the second time. Um, second time? You know what I mean. Um... Yeah, there's also wind triggers occasionally. Oh, many spinner corner boosts in this one. <laughs> yeah. There's every more time than I, like, Every time I considered looking at this task, I was like, I just saw how many spinners there are, and I just sort of noped. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this was hard to draft because this is so long. Oh, right here, right here. Uh, and uh, dash. So use right. what little bit of wind there is to hit the ground beneath the spinners <laughs> and get a dash back without losing falling speed. That is courtesy of Robo. I uh, I tried oh, to yeah. do that and I couldn't. I didn't even see that that was an option. And then, oh, there's also a cool thing right here. Dash off some decoration <laughs> and then do it again, basically. <laughs> um, such a good task. Yeah. 
skip this having to wait for the snowball there and just dash through some spinners basically. Um, ice glazed over system. So <laughs> Spike's a melee suggestion. Right. Do a uh, granted ultra cancel off that snowball, and then yeah, uh, and then that. Uh, used to spinner do a bunch of spinners uh, corner boost up that hill, but not anymore. Uh, get some ultras here. Oh yeah, there's the platform ultras that I don't know how they work. We couldn't get yeah. we couldn't get the secret. I'm sad. Okay, so this start this one starts off very quickly. Uh, pay oh, attention. Yeah. Um. Yeah, don't blink. So that skips <laughs> oh, oh, about one and a like yeah, yeah like one that, full room and most of another. Um, yeah, that is a mixture between <laughs> uh, a strat that I originally found just by messing around in assist mode and just some really good corner boosting and speed conservation. Then there's another skip. Just just through the spikes, then through them yeah. again. Oh yeah, uh, I made the first draft of this, then Robo overhauled it. And then Robo overhauled it. Yeah. Sort of, that is the that is like half of the maps in Kola, <laughs> yeah. is just and then Robo overhauled it. Uh, some more weaving through spinners, as he phrased it. Like, I had maps in this collab where I was legitimately like, wow, this is actually fast. I, I feel really good about this draft. And then Robo saved like 400 frames. Yep. Yeah, on that one, I think he saved 600 or something like that from the original. Like in one go, Starship followed by more. Starship uh, Ruins is a cool task so far, from what I've seen. I also did this one, and Robo also overhauled this one. Um, yeah. This one has lots of cool skips. The first one being here. Oh, this yeah, that one's really neat. I oh, do you want to explain that, that custom mechanic? Uh, uh yes. I can explain it. Um, so basically, we have this dark matter, and what dark matter does is it puts you in a state where you can constantly, slowly gain speed and also move in the same direction. It's like a dream block, but you don't have to dash into it, and you can go in any angle. So if you start out with any angle, you're gonna keep it. Which is very cool for tasking. Yeah. Here, this is one uh, of the only uses of like a piece of tech where if you dash in the first three frames of a wall bounce, uh, you get the wall bounce boost after the dash, and it allows you just to make it up to that platform. Oh, I didn't even see that. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, one of the sort of more annoying things about routing uh, with maps that have dark matter is the fact that you can die in assist mode with dark matter just due to the fact that otherwise your game would crash. Um, yep. <laughs> and uh, we did have a lot of problems with that in uh, playtesting. Yeah, it was, first, uh, it was wait, very. Can we, can we make sure we're saying frustrating? We, uh, we're hitting but, uh, ten yeah. minutes now. Yeah. Does ten, that sync yeah. everybody? Yeah, we're still synced. Epic. Uh, this map is really cool. Uh, shoutouts to Robo for making one of the most optimized first drafts I've ever seen in my entire life. Um, this, uh, this map, uh, actually has certain tech in it, um, that was not possible. The, when the first draft was, I think, being made or was made i don't know um but essentially uh the 1.4 update made it so that you can no longer get corner corrected into spikes and uh that allows you to get double corner boosts off of every single one of these uh uh spiked moon blocks uh which is just really neat and a lot of fun to mess around with as a tasser you can tell the ones that are moon blocks versus static, uh, based on the fact that they're they, wiggling. Yeah, they they wiggly. move up and down. Um, I also want to say shout out real quick to uh, Kira and Nico. Nico, I don't know how you pronounce his name. Um, they did all the music for this collab, and it's quite good. Oh yeah. I can't hear it on the stream because of reasons, but Ooh. yeah. Ooh, wait. I think we're, get I think we're getting to the one... I believe I'm the only person who has made an improvement on this task since the first draft by Robo. I think so. Uh, and I think we're getting close to that. Um, this was another. This is one of the maps that 
somebody who didn't know that the test project existed um, drafted this map. Um, and it yeah. was a bit slower than... <laughs> which is okay, that's how you learn. Yeah. Uh, by a bit, they mean like 20 seconds. Uh, there, right there. That, uh... Basically, that moon block just so happens to move down at the perfect timing where you can have it move into you and then wall kick off of it. And that saves doing some jank. Uh, I don't remember what the original strat was, but it was ugly. To be honest, I don't remember either. <laughs> just fall uh, off the block at the end, I didn't even know that. Yeah. This okay. this particular map, I, I drafted the original version of this, and uh, it was a lot of fun. You only did half of it. I did the other half. Oh yeah. yeah. A, a, good, a solid amount of people worked on this. More more so than yeah. most of these tests. This was a yeah. pretty fun test to work on. Skip the wall bounce thing. Yeah. Uh, there's a lot more of those double corner boosts from spike blocks in this task as well. I thought there was only one. I mean, never mind. Doesn't matter. Really couple, I think. Uh, this was probably my favorite room to route. Uh, it, it was really interesting, sort of trying to figure out the most optimal way to go through and collect all those coins. Yeah. You have to wait in the bubble there for right. a moment oh, for the yeah. cycle. Oh yeah, one of my one of my favorite things about this task is just the fact that it just never stops moving. Like it's just always going forward. It's got that flow to it. So, right here, it's quite easy to skip the key coins, but uh, at the end, there's just a wall stopping you from getting through without the dream block, which is quite annoying. Right. Which is how the map was designed, I believe. It's intentional. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> I mean, the gate that stops you, that makes you need the coins, is a functioning gate. Uh, unlike a yeah. certain gate in uh, Distorted, but we'll get to that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, You're well, really not going to let me get that one go, are you? No, no. <laughs> it's so good, though. <laughs> it is very good. I, I was very you guys are going to be thought. able to, to get to that in Distorted. Alright, uh, so I have a That's notes fair. document for uh, this, because... There's so much I have to say about it. Uh, we're not. Um, in, this is Portal Reef, I think. No, this is. Oh, no, this is Momentum, Momentum Sanctuary. Sanctuary. Right. Momentum Sanctuary. Um, okay, we're gonna have to continue to. Portal wait. Reef is the uh, one before Distorted. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Right. This map was also another one of those that was overhauled by Robo, I believe, uh, or at least major changes were made by Robo. Uh, I think. Yeah. Come on. Keep on going. Uh, I also want to say yeah. real quick, um, this map was made by Kebab, um, and uh, Kebab and I are working together on a certain uh, Celesta-related project at the moment. That's all I'll say for now, but ye. Yeah. Ooh, the, I, I love that strat, where they just like use all three dashes back-to-back, -back, like in that tiny little space. It saves time, so... Yeah. yeah. And it looks really cool, because you just get a big boost out of nowhere. Yeah, the ones where you have to double back are always, like, instant. I really like, uh, about these blocks, I really like that you guys removed uh, the, uh, like, waiting time. Uh, or, like, the freeze frames from the dashes in these blocks. Uh, that is actually the effect of Pandora's box, I think. Yeah. Um, um, I know for we, a fact... People have complained about that a lot, actually. But it's, it's interesting it's to see dashes fun. enjoying it. Yeah, it's a lot more fun to task, uh, because I've done things like assist mode with uh, the Space Jam Fever Dream, which had a similar mechanic, um, and there were, and most of that task, uh, that task is significantly slower real time than it is in game time, because most of it is spent just spamming dashes. Keep that speed there, uh, that's so good. Yeah. Uh, let's go over the top here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, don't blink. Yeah. 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 You actually hit the heart right as uh, the camera reaches Madeline on the right side. It's on the same frame. So, I think Topaz did the first draft for this one, then 
uh, me and Robo did optimizations. Yeah, I've watched. Right. Okay, that, I really that, like that upright. Yeah, That's that really upright, cool. it's precise to a 20th of a pixel. Just because they put a spinner in the wall where no one can see it, and it's only going to affect Tassus, yeah. it's really annoying. And there's spinners <laughs> in most of these walls. Yeah, the, it, the spinners in the walls are like, why? Because you can't even see them. It's not going to affect your RCA. Anyway. Yeah. I think in playtesting that was a bit of a problem in Momentum Sanctuary, but I think we changed a lot of them. Out. Yeah. Uh. Maybe right. I'm bad, but I remember looking at this map for quite a while and not being able to find any time save. Oh yeah, I I did the same yesterday actually. I was <laughs> I was just looking over maps. Yeah, I think Tower of the Moon might. Is one of the most optimized in the whole task, I think. Okay, Lunar Ascension, this one had a few more people working on it, I believe. Uh, yeah. Pipe music, let's go. I think this is the second longest map in the task. Yeah. Uh, I don't actually know, but I believe it. Aside from Fusion Side, is it the longest? Uh, uh, yeah. Is that the longest? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I checked it this morning, so unless I missed one. Yeah. What do you mean? Fusion yeah. side doesn't exist. Wakey, we haven't explained Wakey that did yet. Way more like <laughs> crap than the rest of us. Like seriously, shout outs to to Wakey for just being like so dedicated and just putting in so much work for this. I think. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, I, I did a lot of notes for SC twenty twenty tasks, but for this, I'm just like, eh, memory's fun. <laughs> I don't know what changed. It's mainly because I, I'm scared I'm gonna mess it up, so I always I want to have something to fall back on in case I don't know what to say. Right. Fair enough. It was really the same with the Spring Collab notes, just like... Yeah. Hey, like my one... Like four frames of time saved, and that's it. <laughs> <laughs> right here, there's a nice fish skip that to Topaz found. Uh, yeah. So, if there are ever points in this task where we just none of us have something to say, it's probably because it was one of the maps that, like, someone else did. Because there, there are certain maps in this collab that. None of us really touch very much. Not quite uh, the same extent as Spring, though. <laughs> right. That's it okay. it was a lot it... worse with the Spring collab, because, like, most of us with the Spring collab had only touched, like, maybe a dozen maps. And there were a hundred maps in that collab, <laughs> so... I mean, I only touched one map, and I found, uh, I think, a six-second save. That was about it. Nice. Yeah. And then, actually, Tizer approved it, so... Uh, I don't remember that, but... All right. <laughs> um, it was it was the one where, at first... Cool. Uh, I'll just explain it. Uh, in one room of Distorted, um, there was a oh. skip that was using... Um, that was using a watchtower skip. Yeah. And then I just realized that the main path was, like, five seconds faster. Oh yeah, uh, yeah, that's that. We'll talk about that. So about about this particular, I actually drafted this uh, map, so I know quite a bit about what's going on. Uh, I'm really proud of a lot how a lot of these rooms turned out. I think they look really nice. Um, but uh, one of the like hardest parts about this is that right there, that is really really precise. Um, so one thing about trampolines is that they give you they set your speed is that they keep your sub pixel the same and they give you exactly four pixels per second or per frame of speed uh which means that you keep your sub pixel the whole time uh so you have to manipulate your sub pixel before uh, touching 20 springs. minutes are we still synced yep uh yep. yeah yeah I think I'm about a second behind, but same thing. Okay, that's fine. Yeah. No, this is like one of two maps that I actually played. It's fun. 
Uh, this end got redone Fire a bunch. Sandwiches. I did it once, and then guess who? One guess who did the final version of it? Uh, Robo. And starts oh, with an O and ends or an yeah. R and ends <laughs> with an Obo man. <laughs> Obo man. Uh, so I who it could be. Uh, this is a vamp's draft. Um, basically didn't change much. It, this is probably the most optimized task. Just hazarding a guess uh, at the moment. It's. I think Tower of the Moon might be more, but it is debatable. Could be either. Yeah. That, uh, there was a, a corner boost there that was... It doesn't look precise, but it was, like, extremely precise. Yeah. Uh, this is cool. Uh, I f forgot to figure out exactly how cool it is so I can explain it to other people. But trust me, it's cool. <laughs> um, wow, great comms. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is why we have notes, y'all. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Visually, I think this might be my favorite map. It, oh, yeah. It's one of this my favorites. This is a really cool map. Uh, that's some really nice dashless movement. Like, it's really hard to do, like, optimal dashless movement effectively. So when you see, like, actually good dashless movement, it's always nice. Oh yeah, there's a little bit of free ground there, um, where there aren't any spinners. So, yeah. I brought them. What spinners? Spinners don't exist. What do you mean? Yeah, spinners are a social construct. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Sapphire Tissimo, so this is one of two maps, two tasks, um, that was started by a whole different bunch of different people, so like one person would do a room and then give up, basically. Uh, and eventually, um, I came in and was just like, you know what, screw it, it can't yeah. be that bad, and I did like the rest of it. And it wasn't and was that it bad? bad? It wasn't that bad, not as bad okay. as Saf uh, Crystal Quarry, <laughs> which is the other, yeah, the other that map that did that. <laughs> That one has like four authors in total now. Yeah, I have yeah. to say, despite like some of those maps having like Death several Vector. authors, just because, uh, like I don't know, they were tough or whatever. There was no like map in this collab that was like legitimately awful. No, there's cast. no dash. There's no dash. Uh, dash yeah, of water there, there is no <laughs> mossy me. caverns in this. Uh, in this collab, uh, not to like throw shade at that map, but I'm throwing <laughs> shade at that map because uh, it was it was physically painful to task that map. I think the only reason I thought distorted broke Celeste Studio for a couple days. Yeah, uh, basically, that was pretty bad. It still does. <laughs> we'll we'll talk about. Yeah, that. the second half just does not. Play nice. With, uh, uh, okay, that that skip right there is stupidly precise. There's another skip after it that's pretty precise too, that already has passed. But the the part where you upright and get the double dash crystal uh, took a lot of work. A little bit of wiggle there. Uh, also, that we're nearing the stupid. part where we're gonna have to talk about distorted for like two minutes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> also, Reeves' commentary is just gonna it's just gonna be distorted's commentary. Same. Thing. Yeah. Yeah, Sorry so... about that, uh, Dan, if you're watching. <laughs> yeah. Nice little I pretty ending screen. A lot to say. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Alright, so this is Portal Reef. Uh, I, what's the custom yeah. mechanic here? It's just portals? It's the portals. It's um, uh, portals <laughs> from, from Outback Helper. It some uses a lot of portal. momentum tricks, and some of the strats in it are pretty... They're, they're pretty cool speed strats for task. Oh, yeah. yeah. I tried to do that strat where you, like, weave in between the block and the spinner, and I couldn't. And then Robo did it, and I was mad. <laughs> yeah, I feel like that's a story with, with, like, that is, that is just these skips. That, that should just be our, like, quote of the day. And then Robo <laughs> did it, and I was mad. Because that was... Yeah. Oh, everyone, Robo. This right here is the cool step. I think it's I think it's doable in real time, but it's pretty hard. Yeah. Uh, so the next map uh, that's going to be coming up after this, up after this, is distorted as we've been hyping up so far. Uh, Tyron is going to be a rap god for this. Okay. So. So. Go nuts. 
The first room. Oh no. Okay. Okay, so the first room has a 143 speed double corner boost, which is almost the maximum speed possible right there. Um, in the the theme of this task is essentially going to be that spinners aren't loaded for a few frames after screen wrapping. Uh, the first time we're going to see it is right there where we use it to hyper. Uh, this next room, we have uh, entering a screen, uh, screen wrap trigger, which then uh, turns on a vertical screen transition and lets you wrap up before the spinners have loaded. Uh, you can use the red areas to get uh extra or to get your dash back earlier than intended because uh they set your dash timer to two regardless of what it was before um and then uh this room right here is close to being as optimal as possible because most of it is literally collecting the coins on the first frame they're collectible Uh, yeah, that's all uh, I have to say. Yeah, okay, yeah, that skip right there. Um, there are two demos through spinners. Um, the first one's pretty normal. The second one is actually stupidly precise, but doesn't look like it. You know, I'll, I'll describe this too. So we skip all the switches in that room because we could do that demo right at the end there. That demo is only possible on Celeste 1.4, uh, I think. The yes. New, uh, yeah. Um, because Ooh, otherwise you would get really pulled tight. into the spikes and get killed. That last room used to be really just weird and jank, and then I found a better strat. And that uh, those descriptions didn't even cover... That was about half of the interesting uh, stuff that went on yeah, and distorted. I, <laughs> I completely oh, missed... I feel uh, I shouldn't corn. have to re-clarify oh, a yeah. I'm really, I'm really proud I managed to keep my speed through that red portal there. Uh, that That's like one of the coolest sections of this uh, warped bay. Which is the fusion side for distorted and uh It's uh, not a fusion side, it's just totally. a fusion. Oh yeah, no, not fusion side, just a fusion map. Uh right there is more use of screen wrapping uh to enter unloaded spinners for a few frames, which lets us skip that room basically. Uh that was really hard. And I didn't know how spinner cycles worked very well before casting that room. Uh, that has changed because I've tasked a lot of Distorted. <laughs> yeah, Distorted was one of the ones that had people working on it. Uh, Mutagen did the first draft, um, and then I and Tyron and probably someone else did a bunch of other stuff. Yeah. Anyways, next map. Crystal Quarry. So this is the other one that a lot of people started and then gave oh, up yeah. on, and I, uh, I finished. I totally this is, understand. This is Bissy's map. It was it was a bit rough, but it wasn't terrible. It wasn't it's, mossy cavern. It's mainly <laughs> it's mainly because it's very difficult to do upwards movement optimally. Yeah. Um. Just because there isn't as much like <laughs> vertical movement tech as there is horizontal movement tech, so you really have to know what you're doing in order to get the most out of it. Yeah, and there was also a bit of routing that had to go on, which I'm not very good at routing, so I basically just copied other people's strats. I uh, have to wait for that block to move down, unfortunately. Uh, th so this bit, normally you have to hit this coin and wait for that to move up and then neutral off of it, uh, and which was originally what the test did, but then I was like, hey, wait a second. Uh, you can just like go in the spikes and jump off them. Uh, so I did. Uh, you can go in spikes if they are Delayed a frame. It's a weird thing. Spikes don't exist sometimes. Yeah, okay. sometimes. Yeah. Well, basically, <laughs> the idea the idea is that uh, the Celeste doesn't do all of the checks, like for movement and collision at the same time. Uh, they're done like sequentially, so it starts by moving your character and then. It does some other stuff, and then eventually it moves blocks. Um, so, uh, so this is a. Yeah. Um, sorry to cut you off, but this is a another room where we sw uh, skip the switches by uh, just doing that corner boost. It's just yeah. a normal 240 speed corner boost. <laughs> Nothing weird. Um, All right. Um, so this yeah. routing is kind of sucky. Sometimes it be like that. Uh, but back to my explanation. Uh, 
basically what is uh, happening is that the check for collision is uh, earlier in that sequence of checks uh, than the block moving check. And so by the time the block has been moved, you've already, uh, your like hitbox has already been checked. So it thinks you're not in the spinner, or uh, in the spikes. Uh, yeah. This is Abandoned Mines. This was the first map to be drafted, uh, started and And also finished. the first map to be improved. Yeah, uh, yeah it was improved because before it was even finished. <laughs> yeah, it was improved before it was finished because you didn't see uh, one of the water puddles. Yeah, yeah. This is also one of the first maps to be overhauled uh, by Robo. This water puddle. Yeah, this, yeah, that one. I think that was like, yeah. <laughs> water puddle. I, I think I said water puzzle, which is a whole different thing. Uh, <laughs> water puzzle. Don't oh get the Please, ideas. no more water puzzle. <laughs> um, but yeah, lots of speed conservation that was not in the original draft. Yeah. I mean, the original draft did have speed conservation, but not to this extent. Yeah. And then just really, really getting close to the bottom of the screen there. Alright, uh, this is op Opalescent Caverns. I believe this is the last map. Uh, unless yes, I'm forgetting something. Yeah, this is the last uh, second. So right here, uh, you could actually get more speed off that moving block. You could get an extra block boost. But... Like, three people, including myself, tried to do that better, but unfortunately, just because of how the spikes are arranged in the map, <laughs> uh, you, it, it was like half a pixel away from being possible to go faster. Yeah. It's vertically as well, not horizontally, so it was just... There's lots of cases mess. like that with less tassing. For every strat that works, there's five that didn't. Uh, I'm guessing which... we should probably talk about what's coming next, or um, uh, as well. Uh, go ahead. Um, so after this, we're going to reach the final section. Okay, that's a great that's skip. That's an awesome skip, by the way. I, <laughs> oh, yeah. that's what you I didn't know that skip was there. <laughs> <laughs> that's what you were going to talk Sorry. about. Sorry. Isn't yeah. that just abusing, like, the screen, uh, the, like, screen triggers? Yeah, there's uh, no yes. camera triggers in that yeah. area, so all the spikes are loaded. Yeah. So what are you going to say? Yeah, so... After this, we're going to reach the final level, which is the fusion side. So, just like how um, Spring Collab had. Um, also, that was my, those ultras were me. <laughs> uh, yes, yes, I saw you working on that. Uh, so, this is the fusion side. Just like how Heart Sides exists for Spring Collab, this is a combination of all the fusion maps put together, as well as in new different ways. I could go into it, but there's actually a lot of detail as to how we've set that up, so I'm not going to. I can answer those types of questions later. Um, this is definitely the longest map in the task. Only by uh, like less than a minute, actually. Yeah. Uh, yeah. This this similar to the heart sides. This map also has a major skip. Um, yes. Yeah. That this, uh, that's going to some, be fixed in a future update. Some eventually. of the devs did not like. Um, yeah, it's <laughs> very dumb. <laughs> uh, it is, yeah, yeah. I this, totally this is understand. this is also RTA, unfortunately. Just do yeah, one right one demo, exactly <laughs> one skip? demo. Wait, I mean the same happened with the Spring Collab <laughs> and the Expert. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> two, two yeah. difficulties. I yeah. love this. It's just, yep, yeah. I think it's cool. It, uh, yeah, that's I my personally vote. think it's really neat. I it's mean, great. It was, it was a nice little playground to have fun getting delayed ultras as well. Yeah. Right. Uh, keep speed here. That did not used to be a thing, but now it is. Because of Robo, again. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, so this, I mean, it, it is basically a, a heart side. Yeah. It has the. Um, right now we're looking at the, the Portal Reef stuff. Not Portal Reef. Uh, yeah, Portal Reef. Um, no, it's, um, now technically it's the that's stuff. Bay. And now this is. This is um... Uh, that actually was a section, again, I, I could go into detail about how it works, but that was a section between my map and Nana's map. I and then this I is going to be the, that. um... Yeah, I, I can go into detail about it after the test. So, yeah. we have... We're, the current time is 33, 50, you know, 3. Um, yeah. Those of you who have played yeah. the Fusion side, do the math on how much is next. 
and put your predictions for the final time if you want to do that. Yeah. This, is this the last flag? Second to last, I think? This is the second to last flag. Yeah. So... Yeah, that was flag last one. Flag. Uh, just as a sort of final thing, just thank you to everyone in the TAS server who's been working really, really hard on this. Yeah, without massively you, so. This, without you guys, this task would not be as fantastic as it is. Also, keep in mind that uh, 13 seconds were saved in one yeah. map yesterday. Just keep that yeah. in mind for the final time. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, here we wait because uh, there's a moon block later on, which we RCB off that reverse corner boost off of there. And we have to wait for it to move down a pixel. Uh, skip the snowball here by um, using the move uh, the moon block moving down. Thirty four fifty seven. Time. GG. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, yesterday morning, that file or uh, the all levels time was a thirty five eleven, I believe. Yes. Uh, yeah. <laughs> a lot has changed uh, in those twenty four hours because we broke a map. Uh, this is not really a useful um, thing. Uh, I, you guys don't have this, but I have um, the the actual journals here. Um, yeah. The, sorry, the journal with the maps. Um, yeah. Wall boost and spike jump skip snowball. Yeah. Um, so if you're interested in any final times, having them all right here for death warps and garden of the sky. Um, yeah. <laughs> right there. Um, and a couple of others. Uh, I think that final time is slightly inaccurate, but. Um, yeah, that's that's that. That is the winner collab test. Um, let me open up the game. If there's anything, remember at the beginning I said if there's anything you want me to look at in more detail. Oh yeah. Uh, put that in the chat now. We're probably gonna go straight into distorted. Uh, because. Yeah. 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 We're we're going into <laughs> distorted. Probably, probably go back to distorted. Um. Yeah. Save point eight seconds on Frigid Storm, please. Why is that? Uh, where is it? Yeah, it's gonna be two minutes. Why? Well, so it'll two. be two minutes? Yeah, okay, yeah, I figured it was a sub thing. And if you say 0. 0.8 seconds, it would still be two minutes and then 0. 0.019, yeah. so you wouldn't be sub two. Got him? <laughs> Honestly, um, I think that'll be even worse. Yeah, it would be, yeah. It would be way worse. <laughs> like two frames. I don't think that's a possible time either. Yeah. Alright. Um, okay, uh, I have. Uh, I will go live with the virtual camera thing, like I did oh, yeah, earlier. Yeah. Uh, yep. 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 Also, the the all the dependencies means the my game takes for a little load. Uh, oh, I need to pray. disable. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Pray. Yo, um, trailing. Yo, uh, I need Polly. to disable the filters on the thing. Boop, boop. Okay. Um, I wish there was an easier way to do that. Maybe there is. Um, yeah. uh, funny arbitrary number, exactly. <laughs> um, all right. Maps. Distorted. Uh, yeah, by the way, yeah. I should have mentioned this before everybody probably left. Um, thanks for hanging out. Um, both yeah, people in uh, chat, thanks thank for hanging you. out. Um, people in commentary, thanks for being in commentary. Um, yeah. Um, everything after this is going to be, um, everything after this is going to be just looking at details of stuff. Um, yeah. we'll, we'll still try to keep it somewhat, um, non tester friendly. Um, and also, yeah. um, what's the thing I was going to say? Um, we have a gym test we might show at some point. That was by oh, Mijin, yeah. um, who, it was just the first draft by one guy, yeah. so, um, but it could be an All interesting right. thing. Um, let's see. So, also, my game is running garbage. Yeah. There's a few <laughs> things I want to show in this. Uh, the first one is I want to show like the spinners deloading and yeah. like loading back in with the uh, screen transition. I need to I need to do the uh, IL spinner cycle. Um, ah, yeah. Do for IL. Uh, yeah. So basically, uh, if you guys don't know what spinner cycles are, uh, essentially, uh, spinners 
are broken into like three groups. Um, and essentially, uh, each group will load on like different frames. So like when things load in, they don't all load in at the same time or deload at the same time. Uh, yeah, so right yeah. there. You can see that the left spinner is somewhat transparent, the hitbox for it is. Um, that's because um, it doesn't have collision at the moment. Yeah. It doesn't appear. Uh, and then it goes, yeah. And it immediately, and the, the frame after, I'm pretty sure, yeah. Just barely outside of that uh, spinner hitbox. Uh yeah, what RoboMan said. Encoding overloaded, says OBS. Too bad, says me. Yeah. In short, so, this is not RTA viable. Yeah. By an extreme long shot. <laughs> because you'd have to do frame-perfect inputs followed by... Oh, right here. So if you see that red box right above where Madeline is right now, that's the trigger to enable screen wrapping. You see how there's that blue line now? Uh... That's, I believe that is the light trigger that causes that, like, light to come down from the bottom of the screen. Um, yeah, no, the white beams are also set by a flag. Um, yeah. They're using custom um, white beams from Frosthelper. Yeah. So, as soon as we enter this screen transition, uh, we're no long we screen wrap up to the top of the screen, and since the camera isn't up here, uh, we don't, it, none of these spinners are loaded yet. And so we just do an up left. Um, <laughs> Look at Madeline's into... hair. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Madeline's hair moves after because um, Madeline's hair is tied to the player sprite, but it's um, the player sprite moves individually. I had code. Also, eighteen thousand uh, velocity for a frame there. Yeah. So now and we're into, is, and then we get the screen transition. <laughs> now we're on this screen. Yeah. Yeah, so now we're on that screen, and because we're closer to the end uh, spawn point than to the beginning spawn point, we uh, skip that room as well. Okay, so this uh, little bit, this right here, uh, I can yeah, is something so, that's all right. You can explain it. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. So there was, um, I mean, this was both of us, so it makes sense. Um, this was originally, <laughs> uh, I'm already off screen. I'm not going to go back for it, but there was a bino you could use to clip through some spinners. Um, which was originally the route here, which is cool, done by Matt, uh, Mutagen. Um, however, consider the following. Uh, no. So, there are two parts to this. One is the fact that it's pretty easy to just fall through these spinners here. Um, on going to the right of this current spinner. Uh, I guess maybe I can show it? I That's going to be patched out in a future update, but it's just not yet. Cause yeah. Time. So that's the easy way of doing it. Um, and then I was just like, ha, weave through spinners funny. It, that only barely works. Um, How precise did you say that was? Or uh, I, don't I, have don't a number, I don't have a number for it. Well, at least I currently don't have a number for it, but it was really precise. The answer is very. Um, okay. Yeah. So it, it at was... the end of this room, hold on. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, we keep cutting it off. The... <laughs> Sorry. No, no, no. You miss the thing with the with the red uh, areas giving you your dash back fast. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Uh, here I can just break point. Yeah, uh, this isn't this isn't one of the rooms that's gonna break break points. Yeah, not yet. <laughs> uh, let's see. So what's going on here? Because I don't really remember this. Uh, hold on. It's actually in the room right before this. Okay. Uh, at the very end of that room. Yeah, like that'll work. Please, after Viv Five, do not the break point. Yeah, it's not that bad, but it's also that bad for me. Yeah, Imagine. it's so. Uh, basically, uh, with this little red uh trigger at the edge of the screen, uh, if you enter it, uh, which we do for one frame. Uh, we never explained uh, what the... um what these color triggers do. It sets your dash timer to two, which basically means you can't dash. Uh, but what it also means is that um, you'll get your dash back in this next room almost instantaneously, 
which means that you can do a really short um, hyper and still get your dash back as you enter this next room. Um, because normally, if you didn't enter there, what would happen is that you wouldn't be able to hyper in this room for like eight frames. Yeah, we're um, going to dash on this frame, but normally you wouldn't be able to. Yeah. Um, you wouldn't be able to dash for another like six frames. Uh, and then right after that, there is a corner boost off of uh, or out of a grounded ultra. Yes. And then, and then there's this. And then which... there are two back to back uh, screen transition abuses. Uh, right there, there's the yeah, ceiling top. So this was originally done by me, and then Tyron made parts of it better. Um, so the first thing is ceiling pop and then fall through the screen transition. Uh, the way this moving block falls through the transition and then reappears up top is there are two blocks and they move together. Um, at least I believe that's how they work. Yes, um, that is how it works. I can confirm that. Yeah. <laughs> so we hit the screen transition. A little transition. bit of magic there. We are yeah, inside we the of the block and the spinner, but the spinner is deactivated. Um, and then get, it pops us out because we're, yeah. Yeah, because you, you changed this part, so explain this. Uh, I think it's just a block boost uh, there. And then we do a hyper into the still unloaded spinners. I have no idea why I don't die there. Oh, I I'm going to be thing. honest. It's uh, spinner cycles. Uh, and then there's a second one where I use the wall retention timer to keep enough speed to get through that uh, those spinners right there, which lets me skip having to uh, grab a coin. Uh, yeah. Yeah, all good stuff. Uh, this is the and then, room that freezes the game. And then the at game. the end of this room, at the end of this room, I'll, uh, I'll show the, it. the same thing, the same thing happens again with the red uh, thing. Yeah. So at that uh, moment, because of that teleport and we're in a new room, well, at least I assume it's because of that. Um, the the task mod has an interesting relationship with this map. <laughs> um, it's uh, I don't know if it's because of Viv Helper or or what, but it's um. Extremely I'm going laggy. to work with demo to figure it out. I honestly have no idea what it is. Like yeah. I, I've I've looked at it, I've figured it out there's like it has something to do with a specific thing, but other than that, it's extremely like I really have no idea what's going on. You can see the inconsistent spinners because of the task mod. Don't worry about spinner colors. Um yeah. But yeah, so we Mutagen had a lot of crashes when testing this. Uh, save states yeah. are screwed up. Um, but hey, it's done and it's really cool now. Uh, yeah. So originally this test got all the coins, got all the switches. Um, yeah. But then I was like, it was like no. two minutes, I think, and then yeah, at this, this point. Yeah. At this point, it's like almost a minute and a half, I think. We saved forty like seconds. Two thousand frames combined. Yeah. Um, so this is a, the really precise thing I was talking about. Um, so you need to be out of the left trigger, the orange one, and into the yellow one um, for like three-ish frames. Okay, I guess right, two frames. Otherwise, otherwise your dash timer uh, doesn't go down far enough for you to be able to uh, dash again. Yeah, and it is really precise manip uh, manipulating horizontal and vertical position because... Okay, for tasks, I'll just say this. Other, for everyone else, it's just precise. 0.71 subpixel here, horizontally. Um, and then at the end of the demo, where we uncrouch, 0.45. So yeah. that was really hard to make work. It is, it is 0 0.05 pixels, or about a 20th of a pixel from not working. Um, for just a, a little concept of how precise that is. Yeah, so normally you'd be uh, dead as heck on this frame. Um, and yeah, on, and 1. but, <laughs> but uh. once again, 1.4 to the rescue. Um, this is a really good subpixel there, vertically. 0.4999. Yeah. Sometimes you'll get 0. 0.5000 when you're doing a six-frame B-hop, and it's the greatest thing ever. 
Um, does anybody else have oh, any it. maps they want to look at? Because uh, I wasn't really paying attention to Maybe just look at the debug map for uh, Garden in the Sky. Oh, yeah, okay. So I can show what I was talking about uh, when it comes to, like, all those screen transitions. I also would quite like to look at the Tower of the Moon skip, because... Yeah, it's... yeah. So, yeah. like, underneath all, all of these rooms, you see how, like, the platforms, there's, like, space underneath them where the two rooms are touching each other, but you can... Uh, but, like, they're below where the platform is. Well, uh, which, uh, is this one of the, them, right? Five and... Four and five? Or... Uh, can, can you just tell I'm, me? Because I know this is two, one. Uh, it's two, three is also one. Two, three? Two, three. Yeah. Yeah, two, three is one. Right just... underneath... Yeah, right underneath that platform, there's a little space where you can go and, like, squeeze under... Yeah. Yeah. So basic, yeah, so right there, you can squeeze underneath that platform because there's a small area where those two rooms are touching underneath the platform. Yeah, and that allow that skips having to go all up in here and right. not. Um, yeah. Then, then, and these were all done like yesterday. Um, right. And then there's this one right here, which is, uh, I mean, it's not hard RTA. Yeah, no, I screwed it up, but still. <laughs> yeah, it's not terribly difficult. Uh, I tried to do it with one dash, and I don't think I was able to. Or, um, yeah, that just that. like one one transition. And then there's also the one at the end of eight eight nine, I believe, okay. where there's like a really tight space that you can go in. Yeah, there's like a small little room there. I can't get in there. Uh, yeah. You're probably gonna need assist mode. To I'm, not gonna, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna do it. But okay. No, trust. Yeah, yeah, it's there. But basically, that's why there's so many like death warps and skips that are possible in that map. Uh, yeah. Uh, which is oh, so it's, it's right here. It's, it's right here. Room. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, you have to get a very high subpixel there and demo into the dream block. They need to preserve this crouch state all the way up to like the pixel underneath the dream block. Uh, and then right here, that in itself is precise. You've got a climb jump to get more height. And then at this point you've got to manipulate your vertical and horizontal subpixel. And you get to exactly here uh, when you do an upright dash and that puts you in the f like really left subpixel. And on this frame right here, really right. Uh, yeah, it's, it's yeah. yeah, it is yeah. point zero one five pixels away it's from being very very close. Yeah, and it like... saves like forty frames. Yeah, I see all the really close numbers here, and that skips having to do like those two bubbles, right? Yeah. Yeah. Which it took me too long to much, get much much slower. Um, or I think I think the original strat was to go up and then demo with the bubble. Uh, no, the original strat was just the intended strat. There wasn't oh. a skip there before. But wasn't there wasn't there one like after that, like between mm -hmm. when you found the map, uh, the newest one? Uh, I'm not sure. Oh. This frame rate is hilarious. All right, so this is the. The double the, the skip. This is the skip. That's all I need right. to say. We'll show it with uh oh, point yeah. four six. So there's so there's a camera trigger, I believe. Or I'm not really sure. Is it on the maybe it's on the zipper? Oh yeah, it's probably on the zipper. Yeah. I think that's that's what what it is. And so by skipping that camera trigger, none of those uh Crist or uh, yeah, spinners are actually like loaded. Uh, yeah. So this is what the camera is actually doing. This is what center camera says or shows. Yeah. So this is what's where Madeline actually is uh, in the level. 
Oh yeah, the the Storm Gardens uh, beginning. Oh yeah, that's really fun. Uh, Storm Gardens? Yeah, Storm Gardens. Yep. Storm Garden singular. Uh. <laughs> Sorry, I looked for a minute. Oh yeah, it is. <laughs> uh, I don't yeah. entirely know what's going on here, even though I looked at this pretty thoroughly. Yeah. At yeah. one point. So, right. There's a lot of speed buildup. And then oh. you can get... Uh, Wait, what? You can cancel Gultras off of these next two moon blocks uh, to like get even more speed. Oh yeah, and this is also a map where um, you can get clouds appearing from your dashes. We never mentioned that during the main task, I don't think. Or I missed it. No, no, we didn't. Um, we didn't discuss it. But yeah, so now we're at 2,472 speed. Um, Which is enough to go through some of these spinners in a singular frame. <laughs> Look at that. Yeah, so one side we're on one side of the spinner, and on the next we're on the other side. Yeah. Uh, and then just dash straight up. Uh, the original route here, the original route was to do the room. The The next route was, um, let's see, see if I can show it. Um, oh, okay. Um, it was, what, what on earth was it? I tested. Oh yeah, so you got here, um, demoed through this, uh, got your dash back here, dashed up, right. and then yeah. went over and the then top you went here. Up there. And then yeah. went up here. And then Robo was like, fast? Fast. Right. What if speed? <laughs> um, the worming through spinner skip. Well, the worming through spinner skips are basically just demos. I don't. Okay, fine, I will. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, this is why we played a video instead of playing the game live because of this frame rate. It's bad for me, and I'm not even like looking at the stream. Uh, where are the spinner or the skips? I believe there's one, like in this room. Well, there's that. Yeah. So. I don't know. Gotta do some demos. Oh yeah, this. Was there wind? Silliness. Yeah. There's oh wind. yeah. There's, there's wind more... in the next one as well. Yeah. There's more entering rooms from the wrong place. I like how right Chad here. has just become the people in the test project anyway. <laughs> yeah. That's okay. Uh, how many people are watching? I mean, I mean there's 50 okay. people. Solid. Or That's 49. Solid. That's solid. Cheers to those yeah. who are sticking around, despite not being in the project. Yeah. Seriously. Uh, thank you to everyone. Just, it was really fun to work on this, and I'm looking forward to other collab projects in the future. Yeah, I kind of saw this as like a dry run for um, anything else in the future, like Strawberry Jam. Yeah, yeah, Strawberry Jam is going to be a massive. It's going to uh, be pass. So good. And I'm really excited for just. Oh, that's so cool! I didn't know you just jumped through there. Oh, what? <laughs> the crouch jump through the spinners. That's sick. Oh, and then they're like. And then there's wind, yeah. Yeah. Uh, anything else? Actually, let me show off Jim real quick, um, because. Oh yeah, I can. yeah. We'll show off yes, the Jim. Jim Tess. Then... Uh, I haven't seen and this since it was originally will. done, so. Also, uh, I think we'll call it a. All oh, right, there's no audio. Day. I just realized. <laughs> I know the song because I did the remix of it, or a remix of it. Oh yeah, fun fact. So I remixed this song uh, for the intro of the stream. If y'all were there for that, um, and then I sent that to uh, Nico. Nico, I don't know how you pronounce his name still. Um, yeah. And so he remixed my remix. <laughs> but not really much of a remix. <laughs> he just added drums to it, but still. Bum, 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 bum. Not the most optimized test. Um, yeah. Those jelly not many people wild. looked at it, but still. I don't think anyone looked at it except Mugen. Yeah. Alright. I don't know how long this is either. Oh, I can just look at the scroll bar. Okay, we're like a third of the way through or so. 
Yeah. Don't worry. Sorry about the frame rate again. Yeah. Uh, cause I'm because I'm playing the game back, which is a little bit laggy already. Plus streaming to Discord, plus OBS virtual yeah. camera, plus OBS stream, plus OBS recording. <laughs> yeah, there's there's just a lot going on. There's a reason why we chose to use a video. Yeah. That and also just consistency. Mm -hmm. I'm glad it worked too. I'm 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 really happy that we managed to be synced the whole time. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I don't know how like how the audio sounded on Twitch, but I hope it was uh, not too delayed. I mean, I do audio stuff, so hopefully I have a little bit of an obligation, I feel, to have the audio be good. <laughs> I got ping. So. This is my unfinished, way better gym. <laughs> uh, Robo Loki's how, how How much is unfinished? Like... Yeah, so. We made the right side of four one. But oh, I might have had this downloaded already. Right. Uh, now I'm downloading files while the test is running, so it's gonna get even worse. <laughs> okay. Hold on, I also gotta. Uh... And that's the end, I think. Uh, nice return to lobby. That definitely functioned. Uh, SJ, no, that's not. That's SJ. Okay. <laughs> Wrong thing. Almost leaked strawberry jam stuff. <laughs> oh. Oh ah, yeah, jelly later. Is it that bad for all maps, Mika? Because, like, main game should run fine. Right. Well, main game should run pretty well, and you like. Don't... I don't. Okay. There, are, <laughs> there are very few people. That's the fastest uh, the task has run so far. Oh. I mean, it, it. That was the end of the unfinished bit. Yeah. All right. So. Uh, anything uh, else? No. I'm. I'm good. I. I was really happy with how this, uh, showcase went. Yeah. I'm really happy with how the task, uh, turned out. And uh, yeah, thank you. Yeah. Okay. Um. I don't have like an end screen or anything. Um. Uh, let me go to, the map. Um, yeah, uh, I don't think I have anything to say that, um, Tyrion didn't just say. Uh, thank you everybody. Uh, thank you everybody for working on the tasks. Um, uh, I, if Strawberry Jam test happens, or when it happens, uh, I will try to be on comms for that if I can. I don't know if it'll happen. Same. Um, I know I'm gonna work on it. Um, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Cheers. Thanks everybody for watching. Cheers. All right. I'm in the stream now.